Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Well, this afternoon was one of those first beautiful sunny Sunday afternoons we've had for a long time. And I thought what better chance to get is to have a wander over to the woods at the airfield where I've had a feeder going on that very tree. It's been out there for about three weeks and the camera that's been on it has shown up to four visitors at any one time plus the usual magpies and jays and crows so I thought let's have a couple of hours this afternoon over in the woods. Well hello and welcome to the airfield woods this is the first time this year 2023 that I've been here the feed has been in situ for about four weeks and I had quite a few visitors so as it's a nice afternoon here on Sunday the 2nd of April I thought why not come down here and give it a go so just a lightweight kit there's no camera looking uh, closely at the feeder I've just got a camera in here and I've obviously got the sight mark wraith on top of my Maverick H&N uh, 25 grain slugs so we'll see if they can do the business if we get some visitors see you later on so live now through the Sightmark Wraith 4K Pro. I've been watching this visitor flying in, snatching the nut and then going up and feeding on them. He'd done this several times and this was about his fifth time back. When I was ready for him, just a quick load. Bosh. There's only one good J and that's one laying on the floor. Bloody things. Right, well, while I'm just reloading this, I'm just going to play a 10 second clip from the trail camera from a few days ago, which shows two magpies and four squirrels on the feeder at the same time. So about this same sort of time in the evening, five o'clock. So I knew it was probably a good time to come there and just have a go uh, and try my luck. But again, nice sunny afternoon. It's got to be worth having a go. The only downside in the afternoon is you can't get into that hide without being seen, whereas the cover of darkness in the morning is always an advantage for us. So that shadow that you saw go across that feeder a minute ago was uh, his second squirrel that I hadn't actually seen from my position. But there's one, it's his mate, which is now just above him in the tree line. You see what I mean now about the picture quality of that sight mark? Wraith 4K, it's absolutely stunning. This one up on the tree's obviously got an injury to its front right paw. It's not weight bearing on it at all. Just keeps sort of holding it up. seeing animals in pain. I think I'll, I'll probably be able to sort that one out for it in a minute. Meanwhile, what what's her mate doing? Wife. Stuff in his face. I'll find out. There's any grieving. Not a lot of grieving there, was there? Two down and as many seconds. Can't grumble at that. Well, the magazine I'm using on my Maverick today is the Eagle Vision. Uh, it's all aluminium. Uh, it's got a nice shot count on the side of it there, which indexes obviously as you shoot. Um, ideal sort of thing if you're out rat shooting and doing big numbers, but um, it fits like a glove and it's such an improvement on the plastic. Um, original unit that comes with the FX 
the air rifles they actually do them for the impacts as well um, it's well worth looking at if you've got an FX air rifle they are brilliant pieces of kit well a lovely sunny afternoon this chap came right past the back of the hide entrance where I was sat and I just sat perfectly still and watched him walk around the hide uh, and a fantastic opportunity to get a picture of this lovely cock pheasant it's obviously squawking to see if there's any hen birds around that he can go and make little pheasants with but uh, he's obviously picking up some free nuts that have come spilt out of my feeder and completely oblivious to what's going on in the tree above him a bit twitchy because there's a J about and it's two dead mates on the floor another one that doesn't put his right, right paw down right I thought that had sorted him out but little did I know that was Superman squirrel and he came back for another one Take two of those to sort him out. Tough old boy. Well, if I could have found a sign saying, meanwhile, back at the back cave, I would have used it. Uh, this chap was still going around picking up his Sunday afternoon dinner and completely unaware and not caring at all what was going on in the tree above him. What better way to spend a Sunday afternoon than to sit and watch this chap strutting his stuff? I hope you've enjoyed this short video, it just goes to prove that you don't always go out and shoot hundreds of squirrels but the three that I got there were three well worth getting out of the way before the birds start nesting. Please remember to click on that subscribe and hit the notification bell and I'll see you again soon, back in the manor house in the Binerminator.